Hi everybody, welcome back. Sipsco Games, Game Dev Tycoon. Ah, I think, uh, unfortunately, if you're a big fan of this series, uh, this is the last episode. This is officially the last episode of Game Dev Tycoon, the playthrough. Uh, custom console is going to take way too long to develop, a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, we've created an MMO, which has done very well. Uh, for the last episode, we're going to create our first expansion for that MMO and just see how we can end uh, Sipsco Games. Uh, see how much money is left over at the end of it. We finished the story mode a couple of years ago, and I think uh, carrying on from the story mode, all you can do is, is carry on developing more games. So it's going to be much of the same, and I'm worried that the series is just going to get a little bit samey and repetitive. Uh, so I think if we end it uh, on a high, that would be a good thing, and then we can carry on. It'll free up more time to do more live streaming and play other games and try other stuff, uh, which is always a good thing. Uh, game Dev Tycoon has of course been a blast it's a fantastic game it's totally worth uh, the money it's been greenlit on steam now as well uh, so when it comes out and if they improve it more I definitely recommend getting it. I've had a whale of a time playing this game. It's been fantastic. Uh, so let's do it. We're going to jump in, uh, revisit the Sipsco Games offices uh, for the last time, uh, see how everybody's doing. Uh, looks like there's some hard training. Kevin Hudson and Vivian are ready to go on yet another romantic holiday. Just kind of disgusting. Everybody in the office knows what they're up to in their spare time and are just all disgusted and uh, frankly quite jealous as well. Fine. Vivian's going to go on ahead, uh, pretend that she's going on vacation by herself, and then, of course, uh, Kevin Bacon, or whatever his name is, is going to join her later, so as not to arouse too many suspicions around the office. Uh, of course, everybody knows what is going on anyway. Oh, look at this. Holy shit. I wonder if we're going to be number one at G3 this year with 1.8 million visitors to find out more about Ultra Gary. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, how did we do? Uh, we were voted the number one booth this year. Congratulations! Sipsco Games, number one games company in the entire universe. Holy shit, we did it. Uh, perfect timing for the last episode of the series as well, uh, I might add. Holy shit. Great, okay. Uh, fine, Vivian is away. Kevin Hudson, go join Vivian for a romantic uh, journey into uh, oblivion or whatever. Uh, what do we want to do today? We want to create an expansion for uh, World of Wizardy. But before that, let's develop a new uh, engine with all of the radical new features that we've uh, researched in between. Great. Create a custom engine. We are going to add just a ton of shit to this engine. It's going to be great. Uh, what are we missing from the last engine? Oh, voiceover, celebrity voice acting, uh, realistic weather, dynamic world, a whole bunch of shit that we can be adding into the uh, next expansion for World of Wizardy. It's going to be fantastic. 2D Graphics V5 we'll probably stick with. 3D Graphics V3 we'll add just in case we need it for, for anything. I can't imagine that we will. Uh, this is going to be the last engine uh, we create. So let's call it... Um, what do we want to call it? Let's call it Final Fight uh, 1 Final Final. <laughs> final Fight Final. <laughs> there we go. What a great name for an engine. We've named it after arguably the best uh, Super Nintendo game that ever existed. Uh, if for nothing else, the fact that you could just demolish a car uh, and then have a grown man cry about demolishing his car. Was that Final Fight? Sure it was. It was one of those button tapping interludes where you just had to completely drop kick a car to death. Uh, and if you didn't do it in the allotted time, uh, you had like a cheer, and then if you did do it in the allotted time, uh, some dude turned up off screen and just said, Oh, my car, and started crying. Fine. Final Fight Final, the final engine that Sipsco Games will be creating at a cost of $2.6 million, uh, is ready to go. Let's create it. We've added all of the cool shit that we've wanted to. It looks like World of Wizardy is still making profits despite the fact that actually maintenance costs are starting to soar. Holy crap. Uh, and in fact, last month we didn't, or was it last week, we didn't pay any maintenance costs. However, they're creeping up once again. Great. Okay, fine. We've got 299 million bucks in the bank. Be nice to end with over 300 million in the bank. Looks like we're going to. We've got 300 million right now. I can't imagine that uh, the expansion to World of Wizardy is going to be a massive flop. Although, you never know. It's very hard to tell. It looks like the three amigos are just angling for another vacation. The 
bastards. Ultra Gary is now off the market. It sold 2.7 million units and generated 38.2 million in sales. Wow, Ultra Gary, pirate adventure game. Fucking believe it, my god. Great. Um, final fight, final, is just coming to an end with realistic weather and dynamic world being incorporated into the engine. All things that we can use in the next um, expansion for World of Wizardy. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. Fine. It's done. The three amigos can go on uh, a quick vacation. There you go. Three amigos, go on your next uh, vacation. This time they're heading to Mexico. They're going to Tijuana to uh, drink themselves into oblivion. Ron Raglow, of course, was not invited, so he's going to go on a uh, encyclopedia reading vacation because he's just uh, such a brainiac. Uh, now he's back, fully refreshed, and we should be ready to go. Fine. Let's do it. We're going to develop an expansion pack too. World of Wizardy. Uh, current income of 254 million and a profit of 110 million. Fantastic. Top sales rank was two. God, can we get number one with the expansion? It would be nice. Jesus Christ, it would be very nice. We're going to use a new engine for it, so we might have some better luck. Fine. It's a fantasy RPG for the PC for everyone. Let's do this. Uh, everyone, it's going to be a large game. We still can't make AAA games. It's going to take us a while to train everybody up and make AAA games as well. Uh, it's, of course, an MMO. We don't want to have the uh, other genre. Well, do we want to? Do we want to make it like a... Nah, let's just leave it. We'll leave it as it was. Uh, this is World of Wizardy, the first expansion. Let's call this one... Uh, well, because it's like WoW, <laughs> it is WoW, World of Wizardy. Uh, we should make the expansion after something that exists in WoW. And of course, uh, in WoW, we had uh, Wrath of the Lich King. So World of Wizardy will have its own Wrath of the Lich King. Instead, it will be called Bath of the Rich King, if it fits. No, Bath, oh, <laughs> oh, the rich uh, king. That fits. <laughs> Bath of the Rich King. Fine. Uh, it's about a, uh, a, a rich king uh, that is taking a, a very, very long bath. And everybody needs to pull together to uh, supply him uh, through daily quests all the, uh, the materials needed to uh, have a prolonged uh, soak in the tub. So, you're going to have to spend a lot of time grinding out buckets of steaming hot water. People are going to have to pick... Uh, petals and stuff to add to the bath to make it more fragrant to make the uh, the rich kings uh, pores alive with the uh, delightful smells and stuff like that uh, Fine, we're gonna use the final fight final engine That we just developed uh, for this for bath of the rich king the uh, sequel to world of wizardy Which is uh, of course just an expansion for an existing MMO world of wizardy Man, this one's going to be fucking fantastic. I can't wait. Celebrity voice acting as well. We're going to stick with 2D Graphics V5 because we're very good at making 2D graphics. And of course, the original was a 2D graphic game. It's going to cost us 7.8 million to get this thing started, if you believe that. Jesus Christ. Uh, do we want to do marketing straight away or do we want to wait? Let's wait for the first uh, phase of development before we do this. Um, we got really good scores last time. I think the sliders were pretty much spot on. So let's leave the sliders as they are. Let's leave all the people that were involved uh, at, at the various points. Maybe we can actually raise this ever so slightly. Uh, gameplay is quite important. Uh, stories and quests, we want branching story. We want advanced cutscenes, definitely. Multiplayer, we can't add because we have online play. It's one or the other. So I'm adding online play is fine. Gameplay, we've got everything that we need in there. Look at that. We've got mouse, joystick, gamepad, steering wheel. Of course, steering wheel is going to be uh, essential for Bath of the Rich King uh, because you're going to have to use it to navigate forests to, to collect pedals and uh, also you're going to have to use the steering wheel to steal your horse cart full of uh, buckets of boiling hot water to keep feeding the uh, Rich King his, uh, his bath. God, this is going to be fantastic. Fine. Development stage one, Bath of the Rich King uh, is ready to go. Ron Raglow, Kevin Hudson, and Ron Johnson all fully committed to making this the best goddamn expansion you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, let's start marketing this now, then. We're going to go for a large campaign. Great. And while this is going, let's also do our own convention. We're going to start project and hopefully our convention can start before 
uh, the uh, expansion is ready. We can really hype the shit out of Bath of the Rich King. Hopefully we hit like some big milestones too for design technology. Oh my god, there's a lot of bugs. Jesus. Uh, fine. Uh, our RPG, uh, Dev Stage 2, dialogues, level design, and AI we're not too worried about. Let's go for voiceover. Let's go for celebrity voice acting. It's, oh no, we can't. We, it's only it's one or the other. We can't have just normal voiceovers. We could get like some unknown person who's probably very good at voice acting to come in and do the voice acting for the rich king while he's taking his bath. It's going to take a lot of very technical moaning and delightful groaning because of course the rich king will be enjoying just the hottest soak uh, of all time. Uh, we could also get Eddie Murphy in to do the voice acting, celebrity voice acting for the rich king and I think that would be fantastic. Because, uh, of course, Eddie Murphy has done some other voice acting in the past, and he's very, very good at it. Um, notable um, achievements of Eddie Murphy's voice acting include uh, Shrek from the hit movie Shrek. Uh, he also did the voice uh, for Michael Jackson in Thriller, because Michael Jackson did not want to do his own voice uh, in Thriller. So uh, uh, Eddie Murphy came in and stepped in and did a voiceover for him, a celebrity voiceover for him. Great. Fine. We're going to do it then. Dev Stage 2, everybody that needs to be involved is involved. Drew Darpishin is going to be 100% committed for this stage because of the celebrity voice acting. Drew Darpishin is going to have to somehow uh, get Eddie Murphy in on time to do all the voice acting uh, and make sure that he does it properly. Uh, that's a that's a tall task, Ashley. And Drew is a very shy and reserved, and does not like to talk to people. So we'll we'll have to see how that works out. Fine. Uh, Ron Raglow, Vivian Reed. Uh, everybody has sort of touched this in some way, except for Jack Long and Eric Robertson, who I'm pretty sure will be coming in in, in Dev Stage 3. Uh, if, if they were working on Dev Stage 3 the last time we worked on World of Wizardy. Nothing really changes with the sliders, I don't think. I think we had them pretty much spot on last time. Maybe level design could do the little tiny bit more. We'll adjust it slightly. Maybe Vivian can work like 80%. Fine. Okay, we'll at least get the management score anyway. Fine. Dev Stage 2, Bath of the Rich King. Do it. Our own convention is almost ready. Even if uh, we're done development, we'll sit around polishing it and wait for our own convention. Just get the hype to go, like, absolutely through the roof. God, it's really fun to actually do our, our own convention. SipsCoCon. SipsCon. Is that, is that, like, a thing? Maybe? Uh, soundtrack for 90k, surround sound for 180k, 2D graphics v5, open world, day and night cycle, virtual economy, realistic weather, and dynamic world. Look at that, my god. This is gonna be the best expansion. Ron Johnson, of course, is at 111% uh, commitment because of... Uh, the graphics, which we could probably bring down ever so slightly. Uh, add a hit to Eric Robertson. Oh, look at this. It's hitting everybody. We need to try to balance this out. If we can bring sound up ever so slightly, that might be fine. Okay, great. Ron Johnson, uh, Eric Robertson. Uh, I wonder if we can get away with doing this, actually. Oh, look. We did it. We can actually bring this up a little bit more, and that should be fine. Oh, look. Perfect. Great. Okay, graphics, sounds, and uh, world design at max. I think world design is the big one for an RPG. I think, I think it needs to be pretty high. Graphics as well, actually. Maybe even higher than sounds. Can we, can we get away with... No, we can't. We're going to have to level it off like this. Unless we get uh, Kevin Hudson in to do the graphics. He doesn't have much design. But Jack Long might be able to do it. Uh, he can do graphics and sound, actually, and then we can slide this up a little bit more. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, great. Okay, excellent. World design, graphics, uh, and sound. Perfect. I think we should be good. It's going to cost us 930000 to get out of Dev Stage 3. Totally worth it, though. I think we're going to do well off this expansion. Fine. Dev Stage 3. Let's do it. We got big hype. Look at this. The hype is climbing. I think our convention is going to make the hype even more. We might even be able to do G3 this year as well for even more hype. I don't know if that's going to help us a lot or not. I have no idea. Uh, we completed the organization of our own convention. Great. I don't know when the convention is going to be. Possibly soon. 
Look, research and development, we're spending three million a month and we're just plowing. Look at all the research points we have, it's fucking nuts. We've got a lot of bugs to sort out for this expansion. I think design and technology are at all time highs for this expansion as well. And this expansion can't come soon enough now, look at this. Our uh, support costs are, are definitely outweighing our profits now. People are ready for an expansion. Uh, let's keep polishing this now until our convention starts. I think it starts like fairly soon. We'll get a couple of more points and of course bugs uh, into... Oh look, four weeks. Okay, we've got four weeks of polishing. <laughs> Jesus. Look, we're chewing through the money, too. We're down to 230 million. We can make a lot of money off this expansion, though. It'll be totally worth it. And I think the hype from our own convention... Look, the hype is dying down now from our marketing campaign. Hopefully, we can uh, get more hype off the back of our convention. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Cisco Games Convention may be just in time. There's a lot of people coming here to find out more about Bath of the Rich King and to marvel at the delights of Ultra Gary. Jesus Christ, Ultra Gary. How many people are going to actually come to this convention? Quite a few, my god. 1.8 million, Jesus. What's the hype going to be like? Oh, look at that. Hype is at 506 for this expansion now, uh, which is very, very good. And uh, we should be good to go. No bug. Oh, Vivian. Vivian adds one bug right at the last second. We got a trend match and good management. Oh my god, strong audience, everyone. What a stroke of luck. Holy shit, we may do very well off this expansion if everything is uh, as it should be slider-wise. Uh, I think uh, World of Wizardy is popular enough to warrant uh, big sales of an expansion. Like I said, I think everybody's ready. People are sick of the vanilla game now. They want new daily quest zones and quest hubs and uh, celebrity voice acting and all that good shit. Great. New records for design and tech as well. Whew. Out the door it goes. Jack Long, Vivian Reed, and Drew Darpishin all want raises. The bastards. Uh, we also got advanced physics research available. Look at all the research points we have. Drew, do you want to research some stuff? Do you want to research like full motion video or immersive storytelling? There you go. Research that, you son of a bitch. Uh, Kevin, you can uh, research advanced physics. And uh, Jack, while they're researching all that stuff, uh, how about you research uh, advanced body language? Wow. And what about Ron? He can research... Uh, oh my god, look at all the research that we're doing. Simple body language. Oh shit, here we go. Reviews are in for Bath O oh, the Rich King. Oh shit. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. That's a 9 from Star Games. More, please. I see 10s. We got a 10. It's a masterpiece, according to Informed Gamer. Another 10 from Game Hero. Fantasy and RPG is a great combination. And oh, look at this. Best of its kind, all games. Oh, shit. We, we really maxed out on Bath of the Rich King. <laughs> the expansion for the popular World of Wizardy MMO. Holy shit. Uh, it's at sales rank 24 now as well, which is nuts. Fine. Uh, we've had to expand the bank account uh, to allow for all of these millions to roll in. My god. Sales rank of 1. We did it. Expansion pack. Sipsco Games has recently released an expansion pack to their game World of Wizardy. The expansion pack titled Bath O oh, the Rich King was met with outstanding responses. Fucking fantastic. All right, Vivian. Uh, to celebrate, how about you research uh, orchestral soundtrack and Eric. Uh, look, we're on a researching binge. This is fantastic. Moral choices and... Uh, also, Ron, you could do uh, interactive story. Look, there's like basically nothing left to research at this point. Jesus. As soon as Drew's done that, look at this. Drew, fine. You can research this last thing. Full motion video. We've got just enough. And of course, the research points keep piling in. Holy shit, we are selling lots more units of World of Wizardy. Back up to 269 million in the bank. Uh, the market is normalized again, which is fine. Vivian and, Ke and Kevin Hudson are, are destined for another romantic weekend getaway. Vivian's just finishing her coffee before she heads to the airport. Fine, Vivian. Smell you later. Kevin, smell you later too. Hey, we did it. We're back over uh, 300 million, 325 million in the bank. Look at this. World of Wizardy, sales rank of one. Bath of the Rich King is just like this phenomenal success. 
Oh, fantastic. We did it. Sipsco Games is the number one games company. Uh, we were number one at G3 last year. We had our own convention to help the hype uh, with our expansion. And look, the money just keeps piling in. We may even go up over 400 million. And, uh, and that's basically it. Game Dev Tycoon. I think it would just continue on like this forever. We would just keep uh, releasing uh, hit titles and we would just have billions and billions of dollars in the bank. Uh, Ron Johnson, of course, would have to be uh, in one of those tanks and he would have to have his head severed because his body is just so frail. He's like an old wizard who can't do anything anymore. Um, and, uh, and he would just have to control his entire business empire from sort of beyond the grave. Nobody would ever be able to talk to him. He would just be like in this, in this tank. Uh, but he would still be the brains behind the operation. And he would talk to people through a computer console. And nobody would like that. Because it's very awkward talking to a computer and not to a human being. Great. Okay. Uh, the Three Amigos plus Ron Raglow are ready to go on vacation. They're not going... Okay, fine. Fine, Three Amigos. You can have your last goddamn vacation. This time, they're heading to Singapore. Uh, and they're going to break every law in Singapore by chewing gum and spitting it out on the road. Ron Raglow is going to join them this time. And, of course, they all hate Ron Raglow now because he's not very good company on holiday. The last company for the Three Amigos plus Ron, Ron Raglow. And that's it. That is it. Game Dev Tycoon, we are complete. We're done. The series is done. We can move on and play some other stuff. Check out some other games. I'll have more time to do some live streaming and stuff. But, like I said at the start of this episode, uh, Game Dev Tycoon is an excellent game. And I highly recommend picking it up. I've had an absolute blast playing it. I've really enjoyed coming up with fun games and, and game titles. And I've really enjoyed everybody's... Uh, artwork on tumblr about the game titles and stuff really really funny stuff i've had a lot of laughs playing this and it's been uh, it's been a really good one um if you're interested in getting this it's greenlit on steam i don't think it's available on steam yet but you can get it from the greenheart Ga games website i think they're planning on uh patching it i think there's a couple of uh new things they're going to be adding to the game uh, if they do that, fantastic. I'll definitely check them out. Uh, if they don't do anything else with uh, Game Dev Tycoon, well, I look forward to their next title. As Star Games would say, uh, I look forward to a sequel or, or, or whatever other game they decide to make uh, because this one has been fantastic. So, great. As usual, thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.